Don't be scared away. That's just Mr. Mays again doing his Chewbacca voice since we've been focusing on an example that involves Wookiees. Um, but let's go back and, and look at Z scores just a little bit more. Um, when, when do Z scores become interesting? When do they become another word that you'll see is unusual? Unusual. Okay, when, when are they unusual? When are they interesting? Well, this distribution that I have here is bell shaped and symmetric, and this distribution represents all of my data. Okay, it represents everything, and if we, we should remember that in the center of this distribution, we have a Z score. If it's been standardized, we have a Z score of zero. Now remember, this has been standardized. If it hasn't been standardized, standardized, then the center of the distribution is just going to be the mean, whatever the mean value is. But we're going to look at a distribution that's already been standardized, so the middle of it is zero. Well, if I continue out here, um, right about here, and once again right here, are my Z scores of positive one and negative one. Okay, this should be positive one and negative one right here. So what does this tell me? What does this, do? what does this mean? Well, that means that all of this data right in the middle between one standard deviation below the mean and one standard deviation above the mean, all of this data is, is pretty normal. It's pretty usual. It's not unusual. M the majority, you could just by looking at the picture, what I've colored in yellow, I've colored in most of the picture, at least more than half, okay? So in this distribution, a, a z-score of one or negative one is not very unusual, okay? So when does it become unusual? Well, well, let's continue to go out some more standard deviations. If I go a standard and one more standard deviation in both directions, what I now have is a positive two z-score here and a negative two z-score here, this still is not very unusual. This data right here is not considered unusual. You don't start to get into unusual or atypical data. I should use unusual more than atypical, but unusual data until you get outside of two standard deviations beyond the mean. So if we have a z-score, keep forgetting my c, a z-score, that is beyond two standard deviations away from the mean or a z-score that is greater than positive two or less than negative two, that is considered unusual, okay? It's not very common. Well, what if we have a z-score that goes even further and it's beyond three standard deviations above or below the mean. So if I get all the way out here to three standard deviations above the mean, positive three, or below the mean, negative three, then this data that's out here in this little tail, that's not just unusual. Look at how, look at how little bit of data. Remember, this distribution, this picture represents data. So this little sliver of red here and this little sliver of red right here, that is considered very unusual. So if you get out beyond, if you get out beyond two standard deviations out in this area or that out in this area with your z-scores, then you are considered unusual. And if you get out beyond three standard deviations, then that data value is considered very unusual. 